plastering this conservatory. It's been boarded. It's actually my wife's uncle who's done it. And as you can see, it's very sunny, so we've had to put some sheets up. The last thing you want is to be plastering with direct sunlight. It'll just crack the place. <laughs> so we're gonna be using multi-finish plaster. I've got a bucket with water, got my cleaning bucket, and I've got my tools. We're just gonna work away plastering through this conservatory. It's not a big area to be fair, so I'm gonna do it in the same mix, but given the temperature, it's very, very hot today. I mean, not as hot compared to Australia. Hello, if you're down there listening. <laughs> but it's, um, it's enough to make the plaster go off. I mean, if we are dealing with very hot conditions, you either don't do it if the sunlight's hitting. Like I said, we have covered, we've sheeted up the conservatory to make sure there's gonna be no direct sunlight. Obviously, it'd get very hot in here. It's hot anyway. But if it was too hot, I'd use something like extra time in the mix just to really hold back the plaster from drying too fast. But what I am gonna do is mix a batch and use the same mix for both coats. And that way you've just got two layers of wet plaster and it won't crack and dry out as easily. It's a bit of a slog to get it on, but once it's on, it's a lot easier to maintain. So I'm gonna get it mixed up and carry on. Okay, first bit of advice if you're having plastering in the sun, it's just do less. Don't tackle big areas because they'll just bite you in the ass. Just do smaller loads, smaller hits, and it'll be a 10 times easier. You don't want to be tackling big hits when it's hot and the sun's on you. on it's all the way around and basically the next tip is just get it on a bit faster than what you would usually <laughs> I know it sounds like I'm stating the obvious but you have just got to rush a little bit but I always have something to speed it up the ox speed skim now quick flatten and I'm gonna go on it directly after just to get the plaster on and get it going so not much waiting around no time for a brew here but what I'm doing is trying to feather in this reveal with the existing so even though it doesn't matter that much I want to get it right so what we're doing is just applying the plaster and just running it up to the existing mark there just try to pull it as tight as you can and scrape any excess Oh, 
So pull it inside and then scrape back. And we'll sh I'll show you what to do with that to make it right in a bit. Second coat's done. So all the plaster is on the walls. But now the big difference with it being very hot, I'm not gonna use the speed skim this time. The speed skim pulls the moisture from the back of the plaster, pulls it to the front. I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna speed up the setting time of the plaster. So I'm just gonna go traditional, get the water brush on it straight away, and start flattening just with the trowel. We need to keep that moisture in the plaster. We don't want it out. We need to keep it playable and able to work with. So not using the speed skim at this part. on this edge to try and liven it up, clean the outside, clean it back, excess plaster on the existing, clean that, give it a good wipe down and then wet this front edge, the reveal that I've plastered already, give it a good wipe down and try and blend it into the existing. And then with the fat you're collecting, fill in the edges. And for the first pass, it's not bad, but we're going to get that better in a minute. Let's keep flattening. Taking my sheets down. It's making me work harder. <laughs> You're making it hotter in here. I think so. Right, it's under control. The second coat's flattened. And then, you know, we're getting there. It's bloody hot, but we're gonna get that, aren't we? But I'm gonna show you a tip. And if you're starting to flatten your plaster, it's getting out of control. 
I've got one secret weapon that you've got to carry with you at all times and I'm going to give you a quick guide and it's called a sponge float. Love it or hate it, it's perfect for the summer. Okay, this is a sponge float. It's basically a big sponge, believe it or not. <laughs> and what you do to help flatten your wall, you spray it, you give it a rub with this and it's almost like you're floating with a render, it helps to flatten the plaster. So I'll give you a quick guide on how to do it. So I've got the hose lock pulsar pressure pump. Just give the wall a light spray. Not too much water. Don't want to drench it. Give it a little pump back to it. Sponge float. Quick sponge, you can see it's left the texture, if you can see that. And then you want to flatten it. So you've got two options. Use your trowel, give it three, four, five minutes max in this weather, or bring out the speed skin again. It's totally up to you when you use this. Speed skim, and then I'm going to trowel the lines out. So it's melted my sponge float. Great. It's ruined. They never last that long, do they? So it's been that hot, we've had to skip a step. I would have usually done another trial before this, but it's dried that fast, even with a sponge in it, I've just gone straight to the wet trial. So we've got the flexi trial out. And last tip, you've got to be flexible. You've got to try and keep the plaster as flat early on as possible because it will just turn like that. So now the flattening's done. Just got to polish it.
conservatory plastered. So there's some tips on how to deal with the heat in the middle of summer. I've shown you how to uh, plaster walls, reveals, and I've just shown you some tips on how to keep skimming in the middle of summer. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel to keep following us for more tips on how to get the best results in plastering. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Enjoy the sun. And also feel free to sign up to our beginner's welcome course. If you are new to plastering and you want to learn the full process on how to plaster a wall, which tools to use, how to mix plaster, the full beginner's guide to plastering is, sim is free. Just sign up using the link below this video. Or there should be something around here at some point. <laughs> and then... It free course on how to start plastering whether you're brand new or you've done a bit before it's ideal for anyone who wants to get into the game so thanks a lot for watching really appreciate it and i'll see you on the other side Cheers.